right, everyone. This is going to be the first episode of the news report. I am excited. <laughs> I, I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest, but you know, I'm excited to get this show on the road. Part of this uh, whole podcast radio show is the fact that I don't really know what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you were probably thinking, like, what the heck is going on in my ears right now? And that was honestly the same thing I thought when I went back and listened to the first couple episodes of my podcast. Uh, You just heard the very first episode I ever released or recorded on my podcast. And needless to say, there is a stark difference in what you just heard and what you are listening to now. And so I asked myself... How did I get from there to here? And the answer is a growth mindset. I hadn't even realized how much the show had changed until I reflected on where I had come from. My head was down the entire time working, analyzing, and and perfecting. And by no means am I saying that the show is anywhere remotely close to perfect, like at all. But it is the pursuit of perfection that leads to accidental excellence. So that applies for every asset of life as well. Um, Now I'm going to give you three tips to ignite slash maintain your growth mindset uh, within yourself. So tip one is you need to have a muse. (laughs) Yeah, the muse report. That's kind of where it came from. Honestly, that's where I came up with the name. Um, And when I say muse, I mean an inspiration, something you are modeling or striving for or after. That muse for me was Tim Ferriss and the Tim Ferriss Show podcast and drama of the short story long podcast. I modeled my intro, my tone of voice, my show structure, and even my interviewing style after these two people. Now, of course, over time, um, I morphed into uh, my own style and structure, and that is always going to happen because you can only be you. But I would have never discovered the excellence within myself if I first didn't strive for the excellence I saw in someone else, if that makes sense. Okay, so tip two is you have to become a servant leader. As creatives, as entrepreneurs, it is our job to serve. When you start thinking in a serving manner, you start changing things in order to best serve your audience or consumer. Um, Ask questions from your audience. Feedback should be like water to you. You cannot survive without feedback. Ask how you can better serve their needs. Ask for constructive criticism on your product. Always aim to do what is in the best interest of your audience. And you will be surprised how much they can change what you originally had to offer into something even better. Tip number three, look at the analytics. Never, ever blindly produce content or product. If you do, you will be completely ignorant to where you can grow and improve. Keep track of your customers, your profit margin, your engagement rates, your downloads, your views, your click-through rates, all of these things. All of these things are prime indicators of where you can adjust and make changes to improve what you are offering to the world. So why do you think every major company has an analytics department? It's because they're tracking statistics to keep improving and growing their business. So with those tips now in the air, I'm going to introduce some changes that I'm making to improve this podcast because I am always in a growth mindset. And I referred to this a little bit in the episode on Tuesday that I was going to be going more in depth of what I was talking about um, today. So, uh, You heard it here first. The podcast will actually be changing its name to the Build Your Vision podcast, which is really becoming the major focus of this show. I want to help you build the vision that you have in mind for yourself or the vision you have already begun to build upon and make it something real tangible and profitable. The episodes are going to become even more practical than they already were. They will be providing tips for young entrepreneurs who are building online businesses. um, And you will hear firsthand from top 
experts how to build uh, a website, how to grow your social media, connect with influencers and industry leaders, and so many more topics that will accelerate your vision building process. Now, of course, the pod will still continue to focus on self-development, inspiration, because those are integral parts of building your best business. You have to build your best self first, if that makes sense. Um, nonetheless, I am super duper excited for where we as a family and community are heading. I cannot wait to help you build your vision. Um, thank you guys for tuning into this five minute Friday. Uh, remember always to be in that growth mindset. Never get complacent. Uh, just apply the three tips that I shared with you today and you will be well on your way. Um, I will talk to you guys again on Tuesday with a brand new interview. Um, but until then, peace. Hey guys, Clee here. Thanks so much for listening to the Build Your Vision podcast. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I would think you did if you stayed all the way to the end. The best thing that you could do to help support this show is by sharing it with somebody. By you just taking a few seconds to recommend this show to somebody, you are making a huge impact, not only on the success of this show, but possibly on that person's life.